Hi, Jennifer Witt here with the Witt Law Group in Washington State. This upcoming video is on can you get a ticket if your third tail light is out? And what does it mean potentially for a DUI? So if that is a topic you're interested in or you wanna know more about other criminal defense matters or personal injury subjects, please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned. Thanks. Hi, Jennifer Witt at the Witt Law Group in Washington State. Uh, this video is on do I have to have a third uh, brake light uh, or tail light? People, I actually did this video because of, you know, looking at the traffic on my website. I was shocked to, to see how many thousands of searches every month people are performing looking at do I have to have a third tail light? And obviously this is not just Washington state. This is across the country. Shockingly, um, they must pull you over a lot in Texas because I see a lot of traffic out of Texas with this query. Uh, but the, my point is, um, I'm not commenting on the law in any other state. I don't know it. I'm only licensed in Washington. <clears throat> yes. Generally speaking, however, in Washington, you do have to have that third tail light functioning if it is part of the vehicle. Uh, it was a federal law that changed, I think, in 1986, where uh, manufacturers had to to pro to uh, make that third tail light um, for safety, and so vehicles after that date have it, and any tail light needs to be functioning, any and all. Uh, so, the but my point is, I'm guessing, uh, maybe I'm wrong here. We'll see in the comments, but I'm guessing the reason so many people are searching this. Maybe it's just you're confused or you think two, you know, you're not replacing the light, two is good enough, but I suspect it's that it is the probable cause used to pull someone over for a DUI. And you are wondering, can they pull me over for that? And um, the big issue here, the takeaway from this video, if that is the reason you are searching, you know, can they give me this ticket uh, for the third tail light? And it is the, basis or probable cause for your DUI stop, make sure that you contact a defense attorney in your area, get the, the law on that, whether they can or cannot. Because um, often, at least in Washington, the blood draw and it will be 10 months out if they're drawing blood, whether it's a marijuana DUI or an alcohol DUI and you had a blood draw, you may not get charged for 10 months, a year, uh, the tox lab is so backed up, but if you are found committed on the initial infraction, the infra the taillight um, ticket, and you don't contest it, that could impact your DUI. So you really want to get in touch with somebody, a defense attorney in your area, local is important, local attorney in your area where you were ticketed, what should that, is that ticket, um, uh, lawful and how will it impact a potential DUI charge? That's really critical. Again, um, obviously law enforcement's writing a lot of brake light tickets, I guess, because it's just really popping. But um, the bigger issue from defense side is if that ticket was written to you, you don't contest it and it is the basis and perhaps the um, inappropriate basis uh, that there wasn't probable cause, uh, your defense attorney needs to know that right out of the gate. So do not wait 10 months and wait for your summons in the mail for, on your DUI charge. Get in contact with the defense attorney um, quickly and find out if you should be contesting that ticket. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, we love it that you're uh, using our blog. We love writing content and information, hopefully informing people and giving them good questions to ask their attorneys in their area, uh, just kind of giving a broad brush to give you info on criminal defense matters and personal injury matters. So if you like it um, and you like videos here, please subscribe to our channel and maybe in the comments, uh, give us suggestions for videos in the future you'd like to hear content on and we will happily do that. Thank you.